Good morning, I'm Star Delta 9, your host. I am an intuitive psychic reader. I'm going to be doing a reading for Pisces, June 25th, 2020. If this reading fits, awesome. If it don't, don't make it. Don't give your power away to any reading or any reader. Let's go ahead and pull the cards, shall we? I've meditated on them already. So, center of the reading is the Ten of Pentacles. So, we're talking about some wealth, some prosperity, some stability in the center of the reading. It's crossing that spirit. It's crossing that. I take the flipping cards because I believe that's the current energy for the collective that I'm reading for. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles talks about um, somebody being very charitable with some gifts. Money's in and out. Taurus sign here, right? Very happy about giving his wealth, balancing the scales there. Some even give and take that you're considering you'd like with this Ten of Pentacles. That's what's crossing it. So you're hoping for some equal give and take in some sort of relationship, partnership uh, that has to do with the Ten of Pentacles. Crowning energy is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a cooperation of some sort, some good partnership, some action, some adventure with that Aries card there. Reminds me kind of of the Wounded Warrior because he has his flag on his checkered scarf there showing he's been through some victories with a with a headband on even foundational energy is the six six of swords somebody's uh paying this ferryman to take them somewhere to go from rougher waters to calmer waters right some harmony some sorrow but you're on a journey here you're moving on aquarius past energy spirit Past energy is the king of swords. So you may be dealing with a masculine energy, someone that was had some powerful friendship, some sort of counselor or something here that was using logic over heart, right? Holding his sword up. The outcome of the center read is judgment. Judgment usually comes in. It's a wake-up call of some sort, a renewal, a rebirth of some sort, some situation a uh, improvement in something, some promotion, an atonement, a judgment, Pluto and fire sign here. <clears throat> Make sure I don't have them upside down. What is your card, Pisces? What is Pisces card, Spirit? Let me slide these over. Pisces card is the lover. So we're talking about a love. We're talking about some harmony. We're talking about trust, romance, optimism, honor, love, harmony, right? With this Gemini card here. That's you, Pisces. You are a lover. These two lovers are exactly that. They're lovers. One's looking up at consciousness and, the, and Eve is Adam is looking at Eve in lust. So you're lovers. You've gone into exile in your environment. Uh, four of Swords is someone that's taking a time out, taking a temporary uh, retreat, uh, possibly in some sort of situation with Libra here, resting, taking some exile. Hopes and fears, Spirit. Hopes and fears, the Page of Swords. The pages are, you know, they're, they're learners, they're novice, they're immature earth of air sign, right? Some sort of information that has to do with some sort of possible contract of some sort, some sort of intelligent information you're fearing coming in or wanting to come in about some certain situation. The outcome, wow, that flipped out fast, is the... Uh, t is the <laughs> I love this card, is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is physical well-being, right? Hope, security, it's happiness, it's water and Jupiter, Pisces card, your card showing up, it's a wish card, wish fulfilled. One of the most beautiful cards in the deck. What is this exile about? Let's take a couple on this 
uh, leaving. This Six of Swords is this Queen of Swords come in. So now we're talking about a couple. And the Queen of Swords is sitting across from the King of Swords. And she's skillful. She's brave. She's clever. She comes in. She rushes in. She tells the fucking truth, right? She told the truth about something and there's been an enlightenment about that truth, about that information, possibly more information coming in. She's Archangel Raphael came in called judgment on it. That King of Swords is, is dealing with the logical, his head, not his heart. And this queen, she came in using the, her sword, right? Being very skillful as he is. And came in very cleverly and stressed the truth about something. And she's leaving from rougher waters to calmer waters. Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel came in, blew the horn. Yeah. There's a tower here with this lovers, with this situation. Now we're talking about a feminine and a masculine energy. There's been a tower that came in all of a sudden out of nowhere. Uh, these are unexpected when they come in, these towers. I like the tower because everything has to be torn down, disrupted, abandoned, uh, just completely obliterated and deep so it can be re-dismantled. It's his destruction. It's unexpected with a lover. So it came out of nowhere, and that explains why you're in exile. What is this tower with this lover, please? Power with the lover spirit. Excuse me. Okay. So the Knight of Cups comes in, right? The Knight of Cups rushes in here and says, This is an emotional romantic dreamer. I have a proposal for you, Aries and Pisces. Maybe from this lover that brought about this tower or that you have an offer coming in. But it's followed by the devil in reverse. That there's a release, an enlightenment of some sort. Just like I said with this judgment card here in the outcome. And this devil is saying you are going through some sort of release, enlightenment, divorce, recovery. And that's why you're in exile. That's why you're resting with the four swords there. You're ready to pick up those swords if you need to. But you're resting with the four swords here. It's temporary to the temperance card. Temperance is here because it's patience. It's confidence. It's having some sort of moderation in the situation. Some sort of balance in the situation spirit's calling for. And that's why you're resting to the sun, to the sun. That's beautiful, Pisces. Aquarius here, accomplishment. This is an accomplishment for you. This is success, love, joy, happiness, everything that you could possibly think of. Look at that child coming in with the sun blazing and just has no care in the world. He's just going to go get everything he wants in life, right? This is an accomplishment and you are moderating something contemplating, thinking, resting, healing. I mean, the devil is a downfall, man. That's an unexpected downfall, right? In the upright position, but it's in reverse, in reverse position here. We're talking about a release and enlightenment. A recovery is going on. Yep. This queen of pentacles is having a recovery she's very thoughtful she's very intelligent she's very well off right this queen of pentacles she knows her worth here sagittarius capricorn she's a reliable woman the world clarifying the page of swords that it's destined the world came in and said this is a perfection this is recognition fulfillment eternal life destiny and the world has turned in your favor and there possibly is some information that's coming in or some information you came to light too about a king of pentacles now we have a king and queen of pentacles and a king and queen of swords so we are talking about a power couple powerful friendship counsel uh, you know, someone that, uh, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. again, King of Pentacles, reliable. He's, he's a reliable, steadfast person, right? 
generous, makes the most of his assets. That's what Spirit's saying to me. You're taking on the king and queen, the masculine and feminine energy of oneself due to this awakening. Talking about a very powerful situation here. Manifestation going on at its best, baby. Being creative, right? Right? Taking some actions, being expressive with my quintessential card here. To the wish card, to the seven of pentacles. Working really hard. You don't care about starting from the bottom. You're developing something and these efforts will be seen. These efforts will be seen. And you don't care about starting over. You don't care about starting from the beginning. It's clear. To the two of swords in reverse. Beautiful Pisces. Beautiful. Two of swords in reverse is that you're being... There might be... Um, okay, Spirit. Yes. It was an unscrupulous... Yeah, that's what I'm being told. It was an unscrupulous release and you had a victory over this release. Because in the upright, it's an indecision. One more, Spirit. To the Hierophant. You are definitely with the two of swords and clarifying to the hierophant this is an unscrupulous release of something and i'm saying it's a relationship because you have a king and queen of swords and a king and queen of pentacles so we're talking about a masculine and feminine a power couple traditional value the hierophant comes in to clarify that taurus mercy conformity forgiveness right Bondage even, approval, social inspiration, everything, social norms. Did you conform to a norm of a relationship that kept you in this bondage? You found out about it. You became enlightened about it. And you changed some traditional values and you're in exile. It's beautiful. Let's take a couple cards from the universe for you. Congratulations to somebody. My energy creates my reality, and what I focus on is what I manifest. Absolutely. Don't focus on the negatives of what has happened. Look at the brightness, and look at this card of the Nine of Cups saying to you, you have physical well-being, hopes, and security regarding some traditional values you have. When I am aligned with love, the universe Peace cannot be disturbed. Universal peace cannot be disturbed. Beautiful, Pisces. Beautiful. One more, Spirit. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, why the hell not? Get on over there and subscribe. Hit that bell. You want to get notifications if I do any lives or videos like this. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. And that's what I want to leave you with, Pisces. I want to leave you with... This is a huge transitional thing that we're all going through, universal collective transition. And we all need to learn to accept what we've done and what we've allowed others to do to us. Stay in exile, rest. This is a difficult situation and this is a very hard thing to go through. It's painful sometimes, but let the beauty arise within you. Consciousness, the universe is there and use prayer, meditation, to cause a rippling effect of peace in your world, in your environment, in your hopes, in your dreams, and meditate on your heart out of unconditional love, joy, and happiness for all. Namaste.